Hi, it's Mr Loder here. I wanted to talk to you about the learning for English on Friday the 15th of January 2021. The Walt is to use descriptive language to describe a character and we're going to be thinking about the giant. Now this follows on from yesterday's lesson where we were planning our own version of Jim and the Beanstalk and we thought about the things that we could change that Jim gave to the giant. Now what I wanted to do was think about having our own giant and what they would look like. Um, now, before we do that, I'd like to just look at the character from Jim and the Beanstalk. Let's look at the giant. Um, now, what words would could you come up with to describe the giant from the story? Now, when I say words, I'm thinking of adjectives. What adjectives could we use to come up with to describe the giant? Now, you might want to pause the video and discuss that with someone. Okay, and maybe even make a list because they might come in handy later. Okay, let's move on to the next picture again. See if you can come up with some adjectives to describe the giant. Okay. So you might want to pause it again and think of adjectives for this picture of the giant from the story. Okay, now if I'm just thinking out loud, if we thought we could describe his hair, couldn't we, in his hands, his glasses, his nose, his chin, his teeth. Okay. So we could use words like curly or ginger to describe the hair, couldn't we? We could use large and round to describe the glasses. He's got quite a thick, chunky nose, hasn't he? And a rather rounded chin that sticks out. His hands are quite chubby and thick. His fingers are quite chubby and thick. So that's something that we could discuss as well, couldn't we? Okay, and if we're saying about his teeth, his teeth are... They're false teeth, aren't they? So they're white and they look rather clean, don't they? So there's some things that we could use to describe the giant from Jim and the Beanstalk. So if we look at these images, they might give you some inspiration for your own um, giant. Now they're all from certain cartoons from the past. Okay, I think the one in the middle is from a Disney cartoon Okay, from years and years ago. So we want to have a look at them and just look at how they're different, okay? Even if we just think about what clothes they're wearing, so they all have a belt, don't they? And they, two of them have quite a large belly, okay? And they've all got beards, which is quite interesting, and quite messy hair, okay? And they're wearing almost like a tunic, aren't they, on top with a belt around it. One doesn't have any shoes, one does have some like sandals, one wearing boots. Okay, so have a think. Okay, now the one thing that I would suggest is um, thinking to the yesterday's learning. We talked about the giant being old, so maybe he might have grey hair, might he? That might be a suggestion, a grey beard. So you might want to now. Pause your video and I'd like you to draw your, a picture of your own giant. Now, it doesn't have to be a male giant, does it? It could be a female giant if you wish it to be. Okay. And again, just to re reiterate, the giant should be old. Then it gives Jim reason to get him things like the hearing aids, the anti-wrinkle cream, the walking stick. Okay, so you might want to pause the video there. Okay, now this is what you have to do now you've um, drawn your picture of the giant. And that is to write a description of the giant that you've drawn. You might want to describe their appearance and describe their personality, what they are like as a person. Now the fly high challenge is to start sentences in different ways. You might also want to include commas. And of course, you're going to be including adjectives. So. I have done an example on the next page, okay? I've even come up with a name for my giant. Now, I 
I didn't draw him. I just borrowed him from the internet. Okay, I'll just read it to you. The giant's name is Dave. Now, if we look at that, it's got a capital letter and a full stop. And Dave has got a capital letter because remember, it's the name of the person. The giant is massive and he has a rather large belly. He has a light brown top, dark brown trousers, and he doesn't wear any shoes. Now, you can see, look, I did a list of three things there. And I've put a comma after my first thing and an and after my second and before my final thing. Um, under his large belly is a brown belt that looks like a piece of rope. Now, I put in the fly high challenge about using different sentence starters. Now, position words can be a way of starting in, in a different way. His hair is brown and messy. And then look, I've started in a different way again. Covering most of his face is a rather scruffy brown beard. Now, that would be a noun phrase, wouldn't it? So you can see there the first part is describing his appearance. He's a very friendly giant. He's more than willing to share his breakfast or dinner with you. The giant always has a gigantic smile on, a, on his face. So I started to describe his, appear, his personality there. OK, and that's the end of, of the lesson. OK, when you finish, you might want to just share that with someone and they could check over. Have you used capital letters and full stops? Were you able to use commas? Were you able to start sentences in different ways? And of course, have you used adjectives?